Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to the Brownwood Lions Coaches Show here on KOXC. I am Derek Stuckley, along with Brownwood Lions Head Football Coach, Athletic Director Sammy Burnett, way down there, and a couple of special guests who, Coach, I will let you go ahead and introduce right off the bat. Hey, I prettied myself up, didn't I? Yeah, you look great. Well, we've had Coach Lipsy on before, but a lot of times we speak have spoken about cross country and results for the girls and we talked about Sydney Wyndham so I'm glad to see uh, everybody has an opportunity to see her face and and see who we're talking about but our special guest today heading to the state cross country meet on Saturday is Sydney Wyndham and Coach Lipsy. Well, congratulations to both y'all. First of all, how does it feel to have qualified for the state cross country meet? Um, it's fantastic. Uh, running is tough um, and so um, it's a really big accomplishment. Last year, I missed state by 0.2 seconds. I was one place off, um, and so that just kind of lit a fire in me um, to really get after it and work hard uh, and achieve that goal. So how did you develop this love for running? Because that's completely foreign to me. So how, <laughs> how did that happen? Well, honestly, uh, both my parents didn't run in high school, um, and uh, I wasn't super fast in middle school either um but just um as i developed and grown um i just have loved running um it's one way that i just can like release my stress and not think and just go out and run really hard um and so yeah i just i just love it i don't know why (laughs) so when you found out you qualified in lubbock the other day what was the first emotion that I cried. Yeah, I was really excited, kind of jumped up and down. Um, my grandparents were there and were super excited for me and uh, just gave all my family hugs. Like, yeah, I cried. I was, awesome. I was excited. Awesome. <laughs> um, of course, you also have a younger brother that's had a pretty yes, good year. Sir. So are you all competitive against each other or how does that work? We used to be. He's a lot faster than me now, <laughs> um, but he definitely pushes me to uh, run. Uh, I think just watching him and kind of his determination. He's he's a speedy little kid, and so I think he kind of got me in the, um, just like wanting to start to run faster just because he worked so hard at it. And so we ran together a lot over the summer. Sometimes I don't run with him just because he stresses me out. He's always watching our pace and everything. But, um, yeah, he's he definitely has contributed just to my drive of wanting to be a, a fast runner. Um, so as far as going down to state, what kind of expectations do you have? What do you think the whole environment's going to be? Well, honestly, I mean, I know everybody's going there and everybody's super nervous, but uh, I'm not even as close to as nervous as I was for regionals. I've made it to the state meet. I'm there. And so I think it's just like, let's see how fast I can run this. Like, let's run a PR and see where I land. It's not, it's kind of no pressure. I mean, um, is there a particular time you're shooting for? That's a good question. I've never run at this course before. Um, I think it's a lot flatter than Lubbock. Lubbock's a really tough course. Um, And so if I could, you know, shoot for like a 1230-ish, 1240, as long as I PR, I'm going to be proud. But um, we'll see. That sounds good. Coach Lipsy, would you like to add anything? Yeah, I'm just uh, super happy for her. I know, like, when I first met her, that was kind of, like, one of the first things she told me was about that she missed it by one point, and that was... You know, she did a lot of mileage over the summer and stuff to get ready, and she's been, like, our leader all year. I mean, works super hard, gives 100% of everything she does, has an awesome attitude, and like she was saying, I know at regionals she was extremely stressed. Um, I think that might have affected a little bit how she ran, but um, like I told her, you know, going to state's huge. There's so many people that don't ever get to accomplish that, so um, I think she's just going to go and relax a little bit more and get out and see what she can do. And um, like she said, it is a little bit easier course than May Simmons at Lubbock. Um, so I think if she'll just trust herself and get out and see what she can do, that she's 100% capable of running in the mid-12, mid uh, 30 range or so. so. Okay. And, of course, your first season here, the girls won the district championship. Just kind of talk about the season as a whole. Yeah, um, that was a lot of fun. So, um, like I said before, we kind of had a little bumps, you know, early on in the season where team-wise we didn't do quite as good as what I thought we were capable of. But um, they kept working hard, and I know, I mean, they always – Right when I met him, I knew that they were all hard workers. I think they just kind of needed someone that they could um, trust. And um, as we went, each week kind of got better and better as a team. And um, I knew that, you know, we kind of kept up with Glen Rose a little bit throughout the season. I know that's what they've kind of gone back and forth with the past couple of years. Um, so I knew if we ran how we were capable of, that we would be able to beat them at district. And they did exactly what they needed to do. 
And y'all still have a fairly young team, right? A lot of girls coming back next year? Yes, so we'll have everybody back except Emma. Um, you know, she moved back in this year, and that was a huge help. Um, she helped us out big time team-wise. Um, she ran really well at regionals the other day. She missed state by, I think, seven spots. Um, so that was exciting for her. Um, so we're definitely going to miss her, but um, we'll just have to find someone to fill in her shoes and see what we can do next year. But everybody else will be back besides her. Well, congratulations on all the success this year. Good luck to you Saturday. Coach Burnett, anything you want to add to that? Yeah, I was thinking how excited I was for to go to State and Run. Is it at Old Settlers Park? Yes, sir. Yeah, I've been there several times with other uh, kids in the past, but uh, as I was thinking about the excitement is I have her for her going to get to run, and I thought she has to run. That's right. <laughs> Poor thing. How far is it? Two miles. Oh, two miles. You got that. Yeah. You got two miles. Just two it's not, miles. It's oh. not bad. I was thinking it's about five. But you know, you know, I'm not the biggest guru on uh, cross country. So that's why we got Coach <laughs> Lipsy. But uh, yeah, extremely proud of her. Uh, glad that people get to see her. She's an extremely hard worker. Has high expectations for herself, not just in cross country, but everything. She does great leader in her program. So excited to see those uh, hard work and effort pay off for her getting to run in the state. It's a big deal. Big deal. Definitely, definitely. So what else is going on this week, Coach? Nothing. That's kind of what I was thinking. We got basketball practice going on right now, boys and girls. We have nothing uh, the rest of the week for them. We got to buy football. We finished junior high football last night. Uh, of course, high school football is done except for the varsity. Uh, we have several kids that are going to stay along with us that were on the JV, and uh, hopefully fill in some spots, special teams for sure, and then just possible spell of, uh, time uh, on offense and defense. So I'm excited to see them out there. And we have a group. Uh, the other groups are going to. Uh, Go ahead and go to soccer and basketball. We have soccer kicking off real quick, real soon for boys and girls. So uh, just a little lull right now, which is not what we're used to, but it's nice to have a bye with our boys. Been giving them some time off. Uh, right now we're treating it like off season, just going through weights and some uh, staying conditioning. So it's pretty laid back, uh, trying to get our bodies healed and get our minds fresh and get ready to make a run. So is San Elizario definitely the first round opponent? Definitely first round opponent. San Elizario. They beat uh, Irving, who we played last year, twenty-five to twenty last week. So uh, they're in the same spot we are. They're open this week. They're done with their season. But uh, uh, <coughs> Irving does have a game, but uh, it won't matter because Elizario already beat them. Um, <coughs> got anything lined up for a playoff game yet? Not yet. Should have that wrapped up today. Really been working on that hard. Uh, finding venues is extremely difficult, especially for the first round. And when you're going that direction, uh, it's hard to, to find sites. Either people aren't hosting or people are already on the schedule or they go with home teams first. So uh, still working on that today. Worked really hard at yesterday, but hopefully we'll have that wrapped up uh, by today, uh, end of the day. And uh, uh, they don't get out of school till 5 over there, so we're waiting around on them. Uh, so hopefully I'll have some information for you soon. All right. Um, just kind of looking back on the regular season since it's the bye week, I guess what would you say you were most proud of about this team? I think senior leadership. I mean, they set the tone for us in off season. Uh, I've said it in the past. We, they regulated what went on. Coaches were there just to monitor and really did need to do that. It was real pleasurable. But to see the results that, that we've had because of the senior leadership, if you look back on it at the start of the year when we had one returning starter on offense, uh, we had several on defense, but we moved them to the offensive side to see the growth that they had and the success they had. If you'd have told us that sitting right now would be 9-1 and one at the first of the year, I would have taken it. Uh, of course, we wish we would have been undefeated, but we had an opportunity to win a game that we didn't. Uh, but it goes that way sometimes. There's a lot of things to learn through losses, and I think our kids learned some things there and are ready for the opportunity uh, to see how far we can take it. What do you feel most confident about with the team right now and what do you feel needs the most work? I think their desire, I mean, they want to be successful. Uh, those guys that played last year really felt like we left the game out there. You know, losing to Wichita Falls last year still hurts. Uh, it was bad weather like it was last Friday. Uh, we had to learn uh, to work through that weather as we did last Friday. But uh, we just feel like we had unfinished business from last year. And, and however far the Lord wants us to go and, and wants to take us, uh, we want to be prepared to, to do that and, and not fall short of what we feel our expectations are. Of course, our goal is to go to the state championship. We, we truly feel if we continue to grow and reach our potential, we have an opportunity to do that. Uh, you have to have some luck along the way. you got to stay healthy. Uh, so if we can do those two things, we feel like we can we can go as far as, like I said, the Lord wants us to go, and, and we're working hard to do that. So when the doors are open, we're ready to run through them. 
And then health wise, everything looking pretty good right now? Right now, we'll be uh, going into next. I think we're going to play on Thursday. I think that's pretty sure. Everybody, both schools want to play on Thursday, but going into next Thursday, I think we'll be as healthy as we've been this year. All right. Um, well, since I've got all of y'all here, and the Rangers are on the verge of winning the World Series. Yes. Any thoughts on that from the three of y'all? We'll start with you, sir. Well, the last time I saw you, uh, it was one-to-one, one, if it I'm was. not mistaken. And it now was. it's three-to-one. We're one game away. I mean, I don't know. I think there's only been six teams to come back from a three-one uh, deficit to win the World Series, if I'm not mistaken, I'll something like that. But i tell you what. Rangers are hitting that ball. You can score ten runs, man. You have opportunities to win a lot of games. Especially so. in three, if you score ten runs in three innings, it's, uh, it's over I, pretty Well, good. I was on my way home uh, from junior high football last night, and I called Mr. Moore. I was talking to him about we're just trying to get things worked out for the playoffs. And I said, how are the Rangers doing? He said, well, it's zero to zero. I said, well, when I get home, I'm on my way. They turn on the TV. They'll start doing good. Well, by the time I turned on the TV, it was three to nothing. And then – Shortly after it was five to nothing. And shortly after that, it was ten to nothing. So I just sent him a text and told him I told you. So I started <laughs> so watching the them. Good luck charm. I am. So you're gonna be watching tonight then. Absolutely. With ten and zero on the road in the playoffs. Yeah, it's pretty that's, special. I don't think that ever get matched. Again. Well, it's gonna be eleven and zero. I hope. That'd be nice. That'd yeah. Be so it'd be nice to see the Rangers finally. They've never won a World Series. Nope. And you reflect back to what 2011 when Nelly Cruz had a fly ball that he could have caught and would have been over, and he missed it which led to game seven that they lost. Mm -hmm. That's still – got a wound on my heart for that one. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a Rangers fan through yeah, and through. I haven't, I haven't watched many games since then. That kind of did me in. Yeah, it's frustrating. And I sure didn't expect this year to be the year. <laughs> me either. What do you all think about the Rangers? Do you all even care? I've watched a few games. That a girl. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never been a huge baseball fan, but I'm definitely hey. supporting the Rangers. So. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't watch it a lot, I, but I am supporting them. From, they're from Texas. You gotta watch the World Series. You know, I did. I watched it some last night. Yeah. Fell Apparently, today. nobody else but Texas people are watching the World Series. What they said, it's like the lowest-rated World Series ever. Really? But I think everybody in the states watching it here. So we don't care what everybody That's else right. is doing. We just care about what <laughs> we're right. doing. We're our own country anyway. So. They're all jealous. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Anything else going on, Coach? Anything else we need to mention? Yeah, I'm better thank those that make this show possible. Auto Glass Magic, Brunner Auto Group, Syntex Body and Paint, Syntex Equipment Sales. Citizens National Bank, Dan Hill Containers, Dr. Bon Young, Dr. Pepper Bottling Company, Edward Jones Investments, Henrik Medical, Highway Enterprises, Hunt for Pete's, Hartley Funeral Home, Landmark Admin, MC Bank, Rainer Johnson Associates, Smith Surf Agency, Sonic Drive In, Stanley Chrysler, Texas Bank, Weldon Wilson Electric, Western Bank, and Willie's Teeth. All right, we will be back Monday to take a closer look at the playoffs here on the Brown Alliance Coach Show on KOXC, KOXC.com, the KOXC app, and the KOXC Facebook pages. Yeah, we'll have some state cross-country results. We will. <laughs> Good luck, Sydney. Thank you. Have a great day, Brownwood.